Hey guys, welcome back to the Paper Umbrella. My name's Jesse, and today we're talking about Walt Disney World again today. Um, I know I said I was gonna do two Disney then a cruise and two Disney and a cruise, but I had some lovely clients this weekend who really inspired me to come up with another Disney video. So that's what we're gonna go with. Um, today I'm wearing this adorable shirt. It's from a company called Mickey and Mandy. Um, it is super, super soft. It's got this, it's a small world pocket on there. Um, I'm gonna leave it linked down below for their website. I've washed it a couple of times. I've worn it a couple of times. It's held up amazingly. Um, it's still just as soft as the day I got it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Uh, I cannot wait to wear this in the park. They have all sorts of cute little customizable, like little pocket shirts like this. I think they've got some ears. They've got some scrunchies. That's definitely next on my list. So if you're going to the parks and you wanna get yourself something special, um, I'll leave it down below for their link. Uh, they're wonderful. I follow them on Instagram as well. Uh, they're just a fantastic company, and I cannot wait to buy from them again. I'm not sponsored. I just really love them. Um, but today I'm going to talk about Disney Alphabet Soup. So a lot of the times as Disney pros or people who go to Disney a lot um, will go on these videos or message boards or whatever when we're planning our vacation or just talking about Disney in general. And there's a ton of acronyms that we'll use to just, you know, talk about our trip. But... As I was talking to some new clients the other day who've never been to Disney World before, uh, they had never, you know, I couldn't say a lot of these. I really had a long term and out, so it took me a second to translate for myself. So what I wanted to do today was make a cheat sheet for you guys on the different acronyms that are at Walt Disney World. Um, so if you will, the WDW, Walt Disney World. Um, there's tons of them. So in every ride, every park, every land, every hotel, it's gonna have its own. So I didn't do the whole list or I'd be here for like five hours. Um, so what I did today was instead, I just got the most popular ones for places. So those things like Walt Disney World, WDW. Um, and then I also got some that are maybe a little bit more specific to planning your Walt Disney World trip. So um, if somebody says I'm going to Pop, you probably know they're going to Pop Century. Um, even if you don't know what Pop Century is, you saw a list of places, you could probably pick it out. Um, some of these are a little bit harder to decipher, and those are the ones I really wanted to concentrate on. So I think I'm going to go over the, the harder, like, um, Disney planning vacation terms first, and then we'll go into the a little bit more specific, well, a little bit more broad places. Um, so let's start off. I've got my notebook as always here. Um, so I'm going to start off with FP or FPP or FP the little plus symbol, um, that's going to mean Fast Pass or Fast Pass Plus. So those are the things where you can basically make a reservation to stand in line. That's it right there. So you're not waiting as long. So that is an FP. Another one that we have is ADR and those stand for Advanced Dining Reservations. And those are dining reservations that you can make um, 180 days beforehand. So um, before your trip, so you'll have those there. Um, so definitely ADR. It's another one that's very common. Another one is AP, and this is going to stand for annual pass or annual pass holder. Um, this is one that you'll see on message boards a lot, or if you're in a Facebook group or something, you'll see, hey, I'm an AP, um, so that can be a little confusing. So that means annual, annual pass or annual pass holder. Um, a CM is a cast member. Um, so if you have a CM, that's what a cast member, that's what Disney calls their employees. They're not employees, they're, they're cast members. That happens at a couple of other stores too. You know who I'm talking about? You know. Um, but CM is a cast member. Um, a DME is a Disney Magical Express. So this is the bus system, the transportation system that takes you from the Orlando airport to your Disney hotel. That is the um, DME, the Disney Magical Express. Um, a lot of people, this is like the kickoff of her, for their big Disney vacation because you have to have your magic band to scan in and you get to watch the little video and the bus drivers are always super sweet. So the DME is the Disney Magical Express. Um, another one is the DVC. And the DVC is the Disney Vacation Club. So this is their um, timeshare program. This is where you buy points to stay at different hotels so, and, or rent points to stay at different hotels. So DVC is Disney Vacation Club. There are some DVC exclusive events. So if you see that on YouTube and you're like, what the heck's a DVC? It's a Disney Vacation Club. Cool? Cool. All right, next is EMH. 
this is extra magic hours. So this is if you're staying on a resort and you have either an hour before or an hour or a few hours beforehand where the park is open and only resort members can stay in there. That is your, um, your EMH, your extra magic hours. It's a really cool park. Highly suggest using it, especially if you're a park hopper. Um, the MCO is the Orlando um, International Airport. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but you will see that on some people. I'll flow into MCO. If you're wanting to know what that is, that is the Orlando International Airport. Um, another one that I have here is the TTC. And this one just blew my mind because I say it all the time and I didn't realize. You know, of course, I knew it was an acronym for something, but I didn't know what it was. Uh, well, I didn't know what it was. It just didn't occur to me that I was saying it. Anyways, the TTC is the Ticket and Transportation Center. So the TTC, my dog's in here, so if you see me looking over this, that's what I'm talking about. The TTC is the Ticket and Transportation Center. So when you go to Magic Kingdom, you don't go straight to the castle. Um, there is a place you have to go get your tickets. You have to basically check in, scan in everything, you know get on a monorail or ferry or bus and then they take you to the Magic Kingdom. Um, it's across Bay Lake so you get to see everything in the distance. It's really amazing. Um, just depends on what you want. Some people are monorail people, some people are ferry people. Totally depends. But that is what TTC is. So it's actually the place you go to get your tickets. You have to go through to even get to the Magic Kingdom is the TTC. Um, another one, I think my last one for vacation planning, Missy Stop. My, my other one for vacation planning is MNSSHP. I only see this typed out. I never say it to anyone. Or the MVMCP. What? I only see this typed out. The Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is the MNSSHP. And the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is the MVMCP. I don't know. I, like I said, I only see those typed out on a screen. I've never heard anyone say them. I think I would look at them strange if they said them. Um, or you can just say the Halloween party or the Christmas party. We'll know what you're talking about. Um, but those are ticket, those are um, hard ticket events. What that means is you get a little wristband and they're not included in your ticket. And they are after hours things that, and the Halloween one, you get candy and you go trick or treating and there's all sorts of cool stuff. And then Mickey's not in the Very Merry Christmas party, you get free hot chocolate and cookies and all this other sort of things so um, they're just these after hours events that they open up select rides you know certain characters that you don't normally get to see come out there's special fireworks shows there's special parades they're a lot of fun but those you'll often see I'm going to the the MNSSHP this fall and I was wondering what you guys suggested to eat I don't know but you will see that written out on some boards sometimes, or you can search those things up in the YouTube search bar and it'll come up with a big long video list. Um, so yeah, those are different things you can do as well. Uh, but those are the more, I would say, vacation specific ones when it comes to the Alphabet Soup of Disney World. Now here's some very broad general ones as far as um, locations go that you'll see typed out sometimes as well. So you have WDW, which is Walt Disney World, and DL, which is Disneyland. I usually talk about Disneyland, but I figure if you see it on a message board, these are just very broad ones that I think you should know. Um, in Walt Disney World, you have MK, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Epcot. I do see that written out as EC sometimes, and that confuses even me. Just write out Epcot, man. Just write out Epcot. Um, DHS, which is Disney Hollywood Studios. Now you will, bonus points, sometimes see this as MGM because used to, way back when, um, Disney used to have, it was MGM Studios. Um, so some people still call it MGM, some people call it DHS, Disney Hollywood Studios, sometimes you'll just see Hollywood Studios. Uh, there's about a thousand different things to call that particular park, but I most frequently currently see it as DHS, Disney Hollywood Studios. Um, another one is AK for Animal Kingdom. Yep. And then I also hear DS, and this is Disney Springs, um, which is their kind of outdoor mall. It's not necessarily a park, um, but it is a fun time if you're ever going to go. I highly suggest it if you get down there, you know, and you only have a few hours, don't waste a park ticket, go to Disney Hollywood, or go to Disney Springs, have some fun, shop around, eat at Chicken Guys, um, go to World of Disney, which is the huge Disney store. It's so much fun. So that's what I would suggest instead. And then um, at DL, you have Disneyland. 
Um, and then you have DCA or sometimes CA, which is the Disney's California Adventures, which is there's two separate parks. Um, within Disneyland, you have Disneyland, and then you have Disney California Adventures. And then you also have DD, which is Downtown Disney. Um, some people will still call Disney Springs DD because it was a Downtown Disney at one point, but they wanted to kind of separate the two. So now you have Disney Springs and Downtown Disney. It's a little different. Um, but yeah, that's it. I know this is a short video, but I feel like it's chock full of information. Something new that I'm going to try to do this video is have a blog post on my website that is basically all of this written down for you. So that way you can reference it if you need to, um, or print it out or copy it. I don't, whatever you need to do to it. Uh, but you'll have that for you. So that way, if you're looking on a, a Facebook group, a message board, a YouTube video, an Instagram post, and you're just really confused, you'll have that handy dandy cheat sheet right there for you so you'll know a little bit of what what's going on um so yeah that's it today if you guys have any questions about any acronyms all that kind of good stuff leave them down below um and my big question today is is it disney hollywood studios or is it mgm for you which one do you which one do you call it um I would call it both. <laughs> if I'm talking to somebody new, it's usually Disney Hollywood Studios. If I'm talking to my family or myself or I'm making notes or whatever, it sometimes slips out as MGM. So let me know, is it Disney Hollywood Studios or MGM? I want to know in the comments below. If you have any questions on Disney, their alphabet soup, Disney planning, Disney vacations, anything like that, leave a comment. Email me at thepaperumbrella.travel at gmail.com or visit my lovely, lovely, lovely website at thepaperumbrella.com. That's it. Um, and I will have that blog post linked below and that I'll lead to my website as well. Um, or, you know, just like I said, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and that's it today for the paper umbrella. Now go out there and make some waves. Bye guys.